Shrela Peace Internet, my name is Kevin and welcome to the bookshelf tour for 2017. Yeah! You guys have requested for the bookshelf tour after I did my bookshelf reorganization video, I think last week or so. So you guys were asking for a bookshelf tour. So this is what I'm gonna do for you guys today because I'm just so nice and dedicated to make this long ass video that takes about 10 million years to edit. But I'm still gonna do it for you guys because I just love you and we also hit 4,000 subscribers recently which is just insane and what? I love you guys so much. Honestly, can't believe that happened. Yes, this is a bookshelf tour. You guys know how bookshelf tours go. I'm pretty sure this is not the first one you've ever seen in your life. So I'm just gonna stop diddly daddling around the situation and let's just get the bookshelf tour started because this is gonna take forever. Okay, so I'm just gonna start off by giving you guys a quick overview of my bookshelves. So we, this is my bookshelf. Goes to that far over there. And then goes down. I don't know how many levels that is. I probably should have counted. And then we just go back up. And usually it's this section is what you see in my videos. Because I'm usually sitting in my chair. And that's usually the section you guys would see. And yes, so that is just a very quick overview of my bookshelves. And we shall be ignoring this side because this side is very, very messy and unorganized. And I was going to do it for the video because I was like, you guys are gonna see it. But you know what? We're just gonna leave it unclean because you guys will know that I'm a messy person. Okay, so the first thing I wanna point out is this new thing that I just put in today actually before I started filming this video because I was like, let's make this video very aesthetic and make people like, wow, that's so pretty. Because you know, I want those compliments. So I put these in, which are postcards that I got a book on of all the Lady Midnight and Lord of Shadows characters. And we have Diego, Christina, Drusilla, Kit, Ty, Livy, Emma, Julian, Mark, Kieran, and Diana. And if you haven't read the series, you're not going to have any idea who any of those characters are. But the rest of you, I'm all pretty sure you know who they are. And I basically just like cut holes in them with like a puncher that you use for like paper. And I just put cotton wool or string through it and it's just dangling there. So yeah. So we come to the very top shelf, which is basically books that I'm not really interested in and books I wanna like unhaul very soon. So yes, this isn't a very fun shelf to start with, but we get it out of the way first. So the first book to start off the bookshelf tour of 2017 is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. The only reason I still have this edition is because it's just so beautiful and I like having it on my bookshelf. But the story, not a fan of because I can't really read classics. Endgame by James Frey, School of Deaths and Sword of Deaths, both by Christopher Menino. Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I actually have two copies of this because this copy was sent to me by Ilse and it was the large print edition. And then she reordered me a different one and this one actually got, she got fully refunded for her. So basically she only paid for one and I got two. So Arcadia Awakens by Kai Meyer. The Rule of Three by Eric Walters. Shatter Me by Tehera Mafi. Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo Finding Sky by Joss Sterling Railhead by R Philip Reeve And finally The Secrets of Dryer Cliff Grange School by Kim Newman So now we move on to my second shelf on my first bookcase and I'm really sorry if I'm shaky, it's just my tripod does not reach up this high, so I'm holding this by hand, so I apologize in advance. If any of this video is shaky for my top shelves, sorry in advance. This shelf is also just kind of like my contemporary shelf, as you'll obviously can probably see. And the first book we have is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. The Disruptable History of Frankie Landy Banks, also by E. Lockhart. Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. The Twelve Days of Dash and Lily. Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. And Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List, all by Rachel Kahn and David Levithan. An Abundance of Catherine's. Will Grayson, Will Grayson. The Fault in Our Stars. Paper Towns. And Looking for Alaska, all by John Green. Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson and Lauren Miracle. And then on this shelf I just randomly have my Percy Jackson series just because the colours kind of went with the shelf because this shelf kind of like a very colourful shelf and my Percy Jackson books are all very colourful so I just thought they looked well here. So Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters. Percy Jackson and the Titan's Curse. Percy Jackson and the Battle of the Labyrinth and Percy Jackson and the Last Olympian, all by Rick Riordan. And that is it for this shelf. Now we come to my third shelf on my first bookcase, which is actually one of my favorite shelves because this is my 
LGBTQIA plus shelf. As you can see with the very obvious, this book is gay and I would love everyone to know that this shelf is also gay. Anyways, I also have got a, I can't remember what these are called. A clacker yoke that they use on sets. Anyways, and I just wrote bookshelf tour and stuff on it just to be, you know, aesthetic once again. And yes, anyways, this is basically just any book that features LGBTQIA plus related characters, main characters, or aspects in the story. So yes. First we have Lily and the Octopus by Stephen Rowley. More Happy Than Not. And History Is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. None of the Above by I.W. Gregorio. This book is gay. The Upside of Unrequited. Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. Both by Becky Albertalli. If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. You Know Me Well by Nina LaCour and David Levithan. Queens of Geeks by Jen Wilde. And finally, Vanilla by Billy Morell. And that is it for the gay shelf on my bookshelf tour. Now we come to my fourth shelf on my main case and this is my Harry Potter shelf. And so so yes, I'm actually not going to move any of these books out because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are very familiar with all of these covers. So I'm not going to move these ones out and they're also kind of tight in there. So I don't want to move them. So first we start from the left to the right. We have Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Fantastic Beast Somewhere to Find Them. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Prisoner of Azkaban. Goblet of Fire. Order of the Phoenix. The Half-Blood Prince, Deathly Hallows, and then I've got my 20th anniversary editions of the Sorcerer's Stone in the Hufflepuff covers. I also have the one in Ravenclaw in the hardcover. I just don't have it on this shelf right now because it doesn't fit. And yeah, I have to try reorganize everything to make sure that fits in because I want all of them on this shelf. So yeah, I just need to reorganize, but I do have the Ravenclaw in the hardcover also. And these are all by JK Rowling in case you were wondering. So now we've come to my fifth shelf on my first bookcase and this is also the second one from the bottom and I'm currently sitting on the floor to film this one and it feels great. So anyways, this is also just another contemporary shelf. That's basically all this shelf contains is more contemporary books. First we have When Dimple Met Rishi by Sandeya Manon. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. What Light by Jay Asher, Holding of the Universe and All the Bright Places, both by Jennifer Niven, We All Looked Up by Tommy Wallach, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, Margot and Me by Juno Dawson, Lord of the Flies by William Golding, The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling, One Day by David Nichols, and I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. Now we come to the very last shelf on the first bookcase, and these are basically just where I keep all of my comics or graphic novels, and then there's just a couple of random books I've been and sent for a review and yeah I'm not gonna take out the covers for these books just because I don't want to move these they're kind of heavy and awkward to stand up because they're so thin some of them so I'm just gonna leave it like this anyways this is the Walking Dead compendium 1 and the Walking Dead compendium 2 and I can't remember who they're by so hopefully one of you guys know then we have Saga Volume 1, Saga Volume 2, Saga Volume 3, Saga Volume 4, and Saga Volume 5, all by Brian K. Fawn and Fiona Staples. Then we have Image First Compendium 1 and Image First Compendium 2. These are all by multiple different authors. And then we have Amulet Book 1 and Amulet Book 2, and they're both by Kazu Kabushi. Then we have Schism and Unity by Laura Moisano. And then we have the World Beyond Sight Upon Arrival by Joshua Delaney. And now we're moving on to the top shelf of my main bookcase. And starting on this shelf, we have The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson, The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare, Zodiac by Romina Russell, Magonia by Maria Devana Headley, Black Ice by Becca Fitzpatrick, Sick by Tom Levine, Rush by Eve Silver, A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman, Gone, Hunger and Life all by Michael Grant. Imposter by Suzanne Winokur. The Testing by Joelle Charbonneau. Bomb Maker by Claire McFall. The Sin Eater's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury. Monument 14, Sky on Fire. And Savage Drift, all by Emmy Laybourne. The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. Half Bad by Sally Green. Angel Fall, World After, and End of Days, all by Susan E. The Alpha Drive and The Order of Omega, all by Kristen Martin. And now we come to the second shelf on my main bookcase. And 
and this case kind of just has a lot of random hard covers on here like it has obviously some series but then it just has random other hardbacks that I just felt worked on this shelf so yeah this shelf is kind of just random really it's just mainly hardbacks apart from the two paperbacks down here at the end. The Young Elites by Marie Lu, Winger by Andrew Smith, The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings, Divergent, Insurgent, Allegiant, and Four, all by Veronica Roth, The Wrath and the Dawn, The Rose and the Dagger, and Flame in the Mist, all by Renee Adier, Titans by Victoria Scott, Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rash, Highly Illogical Behavior by John Corey Whaley, Nil by Lynn Matson, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Hollow City, and Library of Souls, all by Ransom Riggs, Fire and Flood, and Salt and Stone, both by Victoria Scott. Now we move on to my third shelf on my main bookcase, and this mainly contains my Sarah J Mass books and also my YouTuber books or autobiographies. And it also just has a couple of random books in here that just didn't fit anywhere else on my bookshelf when I was reorganizing it. So I just threw them in here just to make up the space. And yeah, this is one of my favorite shelves also just because you guys know how much I love Sarah J Mass. So I really like this shelf. The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms. And this is all of the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Mass. A Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, and A Court of Wings and Ruin also by Sarah J Mass. The School for Good and Evil, The School for Good and Evil, A World Without Princes, both by Saman Chinani. Diary of a Wimpy Kid by Jeff Kinney. You Deserve a Drink by Mamrie Hart A Work in Progress by Connor Franta It Gets Worse and I Hate My Selfie both by Shane Dawson Follow Me by Ricky Dillon In Real Life by Joy Graceffa Note to Self by Connor Franta Children of Eden by Joy Graceffa Really Professional Internet Person by Jen McAllister Me 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 by Charlotte Crosby Username Evie by Joe Sugg Binge by Tyler Oakley And Don't Try This At Home by Keen Lawley and JC Kalen Now we come to my fourth shelf on my main bookcase and this shelf mainly just has all of my Cassandra Clare books it also has my Victoria Aveyard and just has two random books over in the corner just because once again they filled the space that I needed to fill when I was reorganizing it so first we have Cruel Crown, Red Queen, Glass Sword and King's Cage all by Victoria Aveyard, Lady Midnight and Lord of Shadows both by Cassandra Clare, The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan and Maureen Johnson, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess all by Cassandra Clare, City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angel, City of Lost Souls and City City of Heavenly Fire all by Cassandra Clare, Before He Finds Her by Michael Cardos and The Young World by Chris Weitz. Following on we now come to my fifth shelf on my main bookcase and this is just random hardbacks once again and trilogies and just random stuff basically and yeah this shelf is really random and really randomly organized also but it kind of works so yeah let's just get into it fallen kingdoms and rebel spring both by morgan rhodes illuminae and gemina both by amy kaufman and jay christoph me before you and after you both by jojo moyes the fifth wave the infinite sea and the last star all by rick yancey cinder and scarlet both by marissa meyer the hunger games catching fire and mocking jay all by suzanne collins the Raven Boys, The Dream Thieves, and Blue Lily Lily Blue, all by Maggie Steve Otter. The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, The Death Cure, and The Kill Order, all by James Dashner. Say Her Name by James Dawson, and The Call by Patter O'Gillen. Finally, we have come to the last shelf on the entire bookshelf tour, and that feels great because this is taking forever to film. And anyways, this is basically random, beyond random, the books that are on here, apart from the one trilogy that belongs here and the kind of unfinished trilogy that I haven't bought the last book for. And also I just have random tote bags and my Olaf mug down here. I don't know why it's down here, it just is. The Darkest Minds and Never Fade, both by Alexandra Bracken. Proxy by Alex London. The Warrior Heir by Cinda Williams Chima. Half a King by Joe Abercrombie. Rotten Ruin by Jonathan Maybury. The Enemy by Charlie Higson. Eon by Alison Goodman. The Knife of Never Letting Go. The Ask and the Answer. And Monsters of Men, all by Patrick Ness. Phew. 
Okay, so we finally got that finished and I'm already dreading editing this, but I am doing it because I love you guys. So that is going to be it for my bookshelf tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it lived up to your expectations because a lot of you have requested it. And yeah, let me know down below what you think of my bookshelf. And other than that, I will see you all in my next video. So goodbye guys.